So, three days in court in a row, just about fried my matrix, uh, because everything is proof-based and none of it is feeling-based and none of it is spirit-based and none of it's based on the truth of your soul and none of it's based on the ladder of light or the chakras. It's all based on a predetermined mindset that gets applied onto a situation. And basically we got rubber stamped by the government as something and as soon as that occurred, there was just not gonna be any discussion about what I call the totality of circumstance, which I've now come to find out is what uh, the legal term that's now being used to determine if a church is real or not used to be what's called compelling interest. Compelling interest standard has been set by the federal and state governments um, where basically the government stays away from churches, even if they're doing something weird, they stay away unless there's a compelling interest to get involved in their ceremonies. And the compelling interest standard is harm to property or harm um, to people. And so of course there was no harm to property, no harm to people at the Phoenix God. So there, <clears throat> there is actually not a sworn statement of harm. In right. This case. We asked today who are the victims, and actually Detective Campbell, the lead case agent, you know, I really had a heart for her. She said, I used to think I wanted to do other things in police work, but now I know that this is my life's calling. I'm helping uh, victims. And I had to ask her, who are the victims? And she said, well, anyone that we arrest for prostitution is a victim. And I said, have you ever come across a woman who was in her power choosing to do the work to convey wisdom, to convey healing? Is it possible? I think she said it was possible, but she just says she's never seen it. And then I asked her if she'd ever seen anything like the temple, and she said, definitely not. Like, instantly she said, I've never seen anything like this. Since day one. Uh, since day one, thank you. So let me ask you real quick, just as a woman, as a, as a, as a being, um, how does it feel to, to, I know it can be very scary for all of us to feel like, oh my God, we're gonna go to a trial and we're gonna be facing some sort of penalty. What does it feel like when you have the truth and you're very strong in your conviction, you're very strong in your story and your truth? How does it feel to represent yourself and go to trial? I really can't imagine doing this any other way. Um, multiple attorneys, we're talking dozens of attorneys that are on the Arizona bar, have basically refused to deal with this, that a church was over, you know, swarmed and closed. No one's willing to grant us any religious protections. In the state of Arizona, I just read there's over 350 statutes very particular to protecting religious freedom in Arizona. We're like one of the most religious freedom protection states that there is in the 50 states. And yet, this establishment isn't gonna let us have any of those protections for our religion. Nope, you can't have them. And the judge continues to say that I cannot use the Constitution to, in any way, uh, around what I was doing at the temple. I never thought I was breaking any prostitution laws because as everyone who ever worked at the temple, practiced there, trained there, taught there, everything was on donation system. Of course, we needed, uh, we did set a certain level of donation that would really help us get by. Did people come and go and not leave that amount? Absolutely yes. Did people come and go and then they came back again and again and did not leave any money? Absolutely true. They can't even fathom that we would operate like this. So yes, after four years, delay justice to deny justice, living in the crosshairs, the crosshairs of the government's uh, marksmen that you, they're gonna take you out, put me in prison for over 70 years. I have a, um, there's a word for this. The jury that I have is 12 people plus five alternates. It's a, it's the biggest jury you can have based on that I could, at the age that I am, I'm facing life imprisonment for my religion. So if you're interested in what we're doing, the beautiful sun is going away. I'm gonna take the last few minutes to solar, fill the light of my soul with the sun as the sun goes down and goddess bless.